check, 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 check. That's a good level. Okay. How do I... I'm mostly interested in the chat, but... We'll see if anybody does. Okay. There we go. Okay, I have not played this in a while, so hopefully I remember how to play still. Let's find out. Go standard. I think this is just the standard character. Hmm, I have not actually played the silent. I'm gonna give that one a shot. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Um I'll take the plus seven. And let's start down this path. Okay. Are you starting off okay? Wow, I have a better deck than I thought. Uh deal six. Whoa, come on, deal six damage. Right. And okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it has been a minute since I've played this. This is one of those roguelikes that actually tells you how well you're gonna do if you pay attention. Um, I don't even think this would be really a roguelike if I think about it. Uh, let's do this, and we can get rid of a defend. I'm gonna strike here, Jawworm. I think, well, I don't think that they can actually attack me, so I'm gonna hit them with another strike. End the turn. Ah, uh, yes, Andrew immediately back to sully my stream. I actually promoted it in another chat, so we might get more than just you and I this time. Who knows? Okay, I guess I'll just toss some block on. God, yeah, my computer is not happy with this one. I did order the Elgato today, so it should be here Friday. Slower than, uh, would be the average for Amazon Prime, but unfortunately with all of the pandemic stuff happening, they're really slowed down. I don't blame them too much. What uh, what other streams are you watching? Proceed. Okay. Ooh, I like. Oh, I can't afford that one. Cry. Let's go with this one, I think. That sounds good. Leave. Proceed. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, I start with so many cards with this character. Hold on, let me turn off the custom cursor. I think that'll help with this jitteriness. Let's turn off that. Let's turn off that. Oh, I gotta restart the game to do that. Hmm. Well, let's see. Am I not allowed to turn off the custom cursor? Oh, that sucks. Controller enabled. I don't have a controller right now. I could plug one in. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that shakiness for now. Um. Ah, that's a good one. Let's 
play that then. Quick slash. Which gets me another defend. And let's hit him with one of these. Um, they're not gonna hit me with anything, but let's do this. So I can throw out a defend. Okay, just gonna hit him with a strike, probably toss on a block, and another strike. Real straightforward. Okay, uh, quick slash. It's just always going to be better than strike. May as well do neutralize because it is cheap. And get a block and get another strike. So I should only take about one damage. Yeah. Okay, I'm remembering how this game works. Um. I'll just do that, and I can get rid of one of the defends. i play one of those so that I don't waste it. Well, I guess I didn't even need to play that. Gold, energy, add a card. What is dexterity? Improves block. Whoa, eviscerate. I'll accept that. Hmm, mystery or fight? Well, in either case, I'm gonna have to do a mystery, so I'll do this one first. Let's see how that works out. Okay, transform, ooh. I'm gonna transform one of my defense. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just gonna be random. Okay, I think that was positive. Curl up. It's time to curl up. Um, let's see. I'll do a defend, a defend, and hit him with a damage. Oh, hit him with another damage. And turn. No. I'm only weakened by two, but that's fine. All right, let's do this one. Deal nine. Gain five. And turn. Doing all right. I've only lost five health so far. Hmm, okay, let's, uh, oh, that one, that will fix me up here, because now they do no damage. Got it, well, I don't need to actually use that, I will save it when I actually need it. Slay the spire. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. Dead. All right, 19 gold. Duplication. Po oh, I should actually look at the potions I have. That's. I'll we'll save that. Gain two. Oh, okay. Then we're going to add. Gain 11 block. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm, I'm going to go with Piercing Whale, though. I already have one. But it's always good to have some more. Oh, I'd rather upgrade. I've taken so little damage. Hmm. Let's upgrade this one. 
it's actually been pretty helpful. Hmm. Well, I could avoid the elite. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid the elite. Huh. No! I haven't seen these enemies before, that's so sad. Alright, let's... Uh, well, wait, actually... Can I? I have one that lets me do a thing. Can I get it? Mm, heel hook. Okay, let me do neutralize, then heel hook. Uh, gain eight block. And I'll discard one of these. And then I will eviscerate. That was, that was a pretty good turn. This is honestly the best run I've ever had of this game. Of course, now that I've said that, it's definitely, definitely going to be cursed, so... Right, six damage, and I block, which should protect me. Hmm, nice. Let's hit him with one of these, hit him with one of those. Done. Gold and a card. Hmm. Let's go with Dagger Throw. Honestly, I'll go for Rest. Hit up the Smith again. And let's upgrade Piercing Whale. That should be pretty helpful. Treasure, 50 gold, or a calcum. Hmm. And then what do I have? Oh, that's why I've been getting so many cards. I guess I start with that. Let's go for the unknown. That might be cool. How's this guy? Okay, um... Let's grab one of those. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo. And one of those. Oh. May as well spend everything. I don't know if there's saving and stuff, but in a game like this, you're going to be lucky if you even survive long enough to spend your savings. So, I don't bother. Mm -hmm. Upgrade this one. All right, into the unknown. Ooh. I can afford it, let's go for it. Okay, that knocks off a lot of health, so that might have been actually a bad idea, but we'll see. Ooh, well, I only have four gold, so he can't even steal that much. Um, let's do that. Gain some block. And we'll do that. Ooh. Hit it with another one of those. Hit him with that. 
Four damage. And another four damage. Ooh. Oof. Yeah. I feel like I might have made a mistake giving up so much health. Guess we'll find out. Just get rid of one of those. And move on. Hmm. Well, I only I only need five more block. Do I have a? Yeah, there we go. Defend. Uh, hit him with that, and hit him with that. Oh, I could have used choke. Eh, whatever. Oof. Ah oh, no. That's not very good for me. It's actually pretty awful, but I'm pretty sure I can, uh... Yeah, let's do choke. There we go. He's out. I'm gonna need a minute for this one. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of that. We're riding by the seat of our pants on this one. Making some big bad decisions. These are this is just incredibly reckless, but I'm working with it. Oh no, it's one of those kinds of cards. Well, I just need to take him out, so let's just hit him with a strike. Four gold, twelve gold, new card. This rate's pretty good. Let's do Poison Stab. I like that. I like that one. I'm doing honestly pretty good by my standards. I think I've only ever gotten to the boss like a couple times playing this, and then certainly have not beaten the boss, so let's let's see how this goes. Uh let's rest to be safe. Okay, healed all the way back up. Onto the boss. Ooh. Oh, he's spooky looking. All right, let's immediately hit him with that. Uh, that. And oh, do I not have? Hold on. Uh, let's use up the energy potion so that I can hit him with that. Oh no. Hmm. Well, let's try this out. Okay. I'll just pull that. I, uh, well, I gotta get through that at some point anyway, so may as well start. Okay, I'm actually kicking some ass. Hmm. Let's hit it with Piercing Whale. The shivs. And I am out. Let's hit it with that. I do notice that I'm taking damage, but should be fine. Uh huh. I'm sure your finger slipped. Can't wait to see what 
joke you'd come up with off of that one. Hmm. Okay, I'll just hit him with some of these. One of those. And turn. Alright, let's hit with that. Uh, get rid of that, I guess. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I thought you'd say that. Okay, and eh. let's just hit him with that one and that one. Mm, things are getting a little dicey, but I think I can still. I think I can still just survive this one. Oof, that's gonna be rough. Okay. Next card is played twice, so let's hit him with the choke. Which is... Okay, that helped me out. Um, let's hit this one, and I'll throw out a strike. Hit him with neutralize plus. And they're almost down to 100. Which is pretty good. Sharp hide. What is sharp hide? Oh yeah, that one again. Well, I'll just have to hit him with that. Got to do at least that. And that's the end of that turn. If you haven't played this game, you might notice that each turn I'm just discarding everything that I didn't already play. Which in some games, like the shitty Scott Pilgrim deck building game, uh, that ends up being kind of a problem. But here, that just ends up giving you more options. Or uh, The Scott Pilgrim one isn't even a deck building game, it's just a card game. I plan to eviscerate that in a video at some point because I I I love Scott Pilgrim when it's at its best I mean it, it has problems for sure especially the film like the the book the the comic is is so much better like I I love Edgar Wright and it was a fun movie and it is one of my favorite movies but it's just so weak in comparison to how good the books ended up being and I'd suggest, even if you didn't like Scott Pilgrim, to read sequels, um, which is the the next graphic novel that he wrote, and it's it's fantastic. It's like a time travel kind of story, but it's so so good. But uh, yeah, the Scott Pilgrim card game is awful mainly because the rules are so poorly written. They literally d don't tell you how to play the game. The, uh, the thing that just epitomizes the whole thing is that in the rules, it says to play a card, but does not define at any point what playing a card means. Oh, really? Ah, uh, I, I should have dropped the exploding potion. Well, shit. Ah, oh, new character. Like, I, I can't even begin to explain why that game is so bad. 
but I can say, at the very least, I've never fucking played it. I've never been able to. I've tried to play it multiple times, and I, I cannot get it done. A combat automaton which became self-aware. Ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs. I channel one lightning. Okay. Listen. I'm not the best at games, but I can at least play them. Not well, but I can at least play them. In the Scott Pilgrim card game, it's just unplayable. The, the rules do not work as written. You cannot play the game. And it's... It's real frustrating. Okay, that's uh, my defense. Strike. Zap. Let's hit him with a zap. And a strike. A couple of strikes. Um... Evoke. Nice. Okay. I'm getting it. I can at least protect myself a little bit. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to realize how how really bad it was in comparison to the graphic novels. Like... I honestly, I really want to do a video. I want to do a video about um, just comparing the two and pointing out how the movie got things wrong compared to the books. And how the books actually, like, just ended up having a better message. I think the problem is that the books were building up to something um the books were building up to something different but the movie was made while they were still making the final book so when so when they got to the ending they had a very very different concept for what was going to happen and I'd say the movies is much worse because it completely misses the point. The point being that you weren't supposed to like Scott. He was the point of view character, but he was not the hero. All of the like video game stuff, those were his own delusions. He was a complete unreliable narrator. He is not a good person. In the end, Ramona had to save herself and Scott had to recognize that he was a piece of shit and not only own up to that but improve himself and he didn't have to do that in the movie in the movie he they seem to think he needed to gain self-respect which is not not even remotely what they were going for so i don't know why why Edgar Wright thought that that was where to go with that, but um, it's really unfortunate. At the same time, though, in structurally weak, certainly, um, the story is not good as written in the movie, but the humor is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> like to this day, it has some of the best comedy scenes, some of the tightest comedy editing. Really impressive in that regard. But, um, unfortunately, I don't know. The, the Honestly, the, the fact that they were originally going to have him get with knives in the end works better with what they were doing with the movie, but I don't think that's very much a good thing. I don't know, like I said, I, I want to do a video on this and actually, like, do a deep dive because it's it's been a long time since I've watched the movie or read the comics, so I need to reread them and figure figure out my exact thoughts on it. Okay. Uh. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Hold on, I need to, uh... Ah, ah. Lube up my throat. This, um... Here's the thing. I, I'm not even being facetious with that. I actually at one point read the ingredients for a a product a product labeled as deep throat gel for exactly what it sounds like and uh yeah it had the same ingredients as this spray or most like vocal sprays it's just it's just glycerin which is pretty much a sugar that is a fantastic lubricant for really anything bodily including your vocal cords um eh. in fact i'm pretty sure he didn't say specifically but in the polygon interview with ben schwartz who voiced sonic in the new sonic the hedgehog movie he uh, directly said that he got something off of amazon that's supposed to put a layer on your vocal cords and I'm like 90% sure it's Entertainer's Secret or something similar. I will say calling it Entertainer's Secret definitely does not assuage the um, the innuendo-y undertones, overtones. You're a writer, Andrew. What is the difference between undertones and overtones? I've never quite understood. Six damage. There we go. God, I really apologize for this jankiness. I'm gonna be. I. <laughs> I know under goes on the bottom. Obviously. <laughs> Here, here's something you'll appreciate. If if under goes on the bottom, then should they not be. Bear tones and twink tones. Thievery. All right, Channel Frost. Deal some damage. Uh, gain a little more block. Myself. So, like, undertones are more the story's tones, and overtones are the author's? Or... Oh, okay, so... It's sort of like... Overtones are the things that are intentionally put there... Um... In, in an overt sense, whereas... Undertones are something that is... Put under intentionally or unintentionally... That runs through the, the tone of the whole piece... I guess. Okay. I need to rewatch The Matrix with like an an LGBT um focus because I remember watching The Matrix at a, a fucking drive-thru. Like, it, I've seen, like, a couple of movies at a drive-thru as a kid, and one of them was The Matrix, which was really cool. But, um, yeah, now that 
uh, not only have the Wachowskis um, come out slash transitioned, I haven't actually heard if they've fully transitioned or anything, but I know that they've both come out at this point as trans. Um, and that's just a big thing in cyberpunk to begin with, but... It... The thing with The Matrix is that at the time, it seemed very revolutionary. Um, and it was. I, the... the It, it has very deep philosophical ideas with really, at the time, unique cyberpunk things. And honestly, if you, like, watch them back, they're incredibly impressive for the time. Like, considering The Matrix, the first one came out in 1999, it looks amazing that I remember. The Lord of the Rings movies... Oh, I love the Lord of the Rings movies. They're, those are other ones that are incredibly impressive for their time. Um, or even today, honestly, like, they still hold up. The uh, Corridor crew just did a... Um, reacting to Lord of the Rings visual effects. And the shit they point out is outstanding. The thing, yeah, the thing I want to do, though, I want to watch through The Matrix with a, a, to, to see a, a trans reading of it, just see where that comes through, where everything does. I know there's the, um, the shortened version of the fact that Neo is literally rebirthed as his real self after he leaves The Matrix, but, um... I feel like there has to be a lot more to it than that. I feel like also the fact that they are the traitor in the first one is the only other, like, white dude on the team is not an accident. I gotta actually, like, deal with this guy, I think. <laughs> Just kind of throwing cards out at this point. Yeah, the studios would say that that'd be too confusing. Which is... Uh, you guys gotta... Scratchy? Scratchy how? Oh. S oh, wait. Stretchy, you mean? Um. No, it's not. Hold on. Let me. Oh. I. Right. That's happening because of that there. Ugh. I mean, you're not missing anything down there like uh, where the top of the stretch is is the bottom of the screen and then it's just continuing to stretch that to the bottom um uh, yeah let me fix that hold on this will not take but a moment click and then we go like that and then we... Eh. Nope, that didn't fix anything. Well, it's not cutting anything off. So, rest assured that you are still seeing the whole thing, plus a little extra, I guess. Hmm. 
I am going to lose this, I think. Or, no, actually, I could probably... Nope, never mind. I thought I could maybe kill him. Uh, maybe I'll luck out. Just need something that can do two damage. Ah, there we go. Buffer. That will do it. Yeah, that is one thing. Honestly, that's a good something that I could um I could pay attention to when doing the um when doing that reading is that the fact that what what they were trying to get past and what the studios were actually allowing Although I feel like, okay, I feel like back then, even the idea of transgendered people was so niche, so unknown, that when people did anything that involved any kind of trans themes, it, the studio didn't even know to be offended. Like, that's the thing, is when you do something that's, like, has any anything to do with LGBT now, it immediately becomes hyper-politicized because everyone's aware that it there is politics involved with it. Whereas prior, it was not apolitical, but people were more oblivious to the fact that it was something like that. Like the, the King of the Hill episode, where they, um, Peggy becomes friends with the drag queen, and Hank just uh, com literally can't even comprehend the idea that the drag queen's uh, male presenting self and their drag persona are the same person. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Red pill. Red pill is such. Uh, the, it, it's so telling that they seem to think that that's what's happening. That, they, that they're that they seeing outside the Matrix, they're seeing the bullshit of society, when in reality, they are the bullshit of society, and they're just giving into it. Especially now. In... Now, with the people that are in power, the idea that anything Red Pill-related is at all subversive or in any way. Yeah, I, I'm i not shocked. I knew JonTron was really big on the Reddit scene. I, 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 I knew he was big on the Reddit scene. I did not hear conf confirmation or denial that he was specifically involved with Red Pill. But I would not be shocked. And I don't blame you for not liking him. He's very frat boy. And he's... The thing is, a lot of his early videos... Um, if you look in the credits for them... All of his best videos are co-written by... Barry or Barry and Aaron. So that makes me wonder how much of what made those videos good was their influence, their reining him in from his shitty frat boy, red pill, red pill kind of humor. Sure, yeah, I'm, 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 I definitely know that he argued the same, he argued those exact points so even if he's not specifically red pill he definitely agrees with them or at least did he's tried he somehow tried to like say that that one stream where he like went off about all sorts of horrible red pill nonsense was um him being caught off guard somehow 
but then his explanation of like this is my plan thing i'm gonna address it that didn't help he he just made it worse it was like no i don't think we should keep out immigrants i think that the processes should be better and it's like do you even know what the processes are the answer is no everybody who says that they don't know how the processes work because even the people in charge of the processes barely know how it works and that's acting like you are on top of it when you just have the most ignorant views of everything involved in it. I just puts a real sour taste in my mouth to to hear people talk such absolute bullshit when they don't know what they're talking about. Like the the one specific one is when he I'm not even going to say it here cuz I don't want it to be taken out of context. It was so egregious, but the shit he said so earnestly with nothing to back it up not a single number a single reference is is just wild and I, I i can't believe someone would be so just fucking stupid Yeah, that's the exact quote I'm referring to. And I don't want to say it because I don't want it to be like clipped out like I'm saying that. But it's it's ridiculous. Like he said that and provided no evidence. He just said it like it didn't matter. Yeah. I was I rewatched the the Banjo Kazooie run that they did, which they never finished. Probably never will because that was a game that John was really into and Aaron didn't hate, but um, it just wasn't something he has enough nostalgia for to go back to on his own. I'm sure if people asked, they would probably play it. But um, yeah, there's a point in the Banjo Kazooie run where John just full on, full on drops an end bomb in a joke and it's like it's it's not even necessary for the joke to work not that that excuses it but it's like it's bizarre how he just so casually says it without any like any kind of um self-awareness i guess that's not yeah disproportionate arrests and incarcerations it disproves his point more than anything just because and also the fact that most incarcerations for african americans are nonviolent drug offenses i don't give a shit if someone was selling weed on the street and weren't wasn't hurting anyone that shouldn't be illegal to begin with that's literally just to bump up prison numbers because prisons are privatized and it's big money it's just modern day slavery. They get free labor from people of color because of the bullshit that they made up. Oh yeah, the gingerbread house thing like that's what i'm talking about with that like he has a frat boy humor of just like doing shit that's just not cool for a joke and taking it just way too far there was one of them there was one episode early on in the john tron days where he <laughs> they started the episode and john's just like can i just smash one of your games like, he, he was just, like, looking at the wall, and he's like, I just want to smash one of your games. And Aaron was just like, I I guess you could smash the drill dozer there. I have two of those. And then, like, it cuts to a video of him putting the game down and just, like, crushing it. And it's like, Aaron plays it off like he doesn't care, but it's also like, I don't... Why, why do you have this, this inclination towards violence? 
Yeah, he's not as funny on Grumps. He, like I said, he's funnier in his videos, and that's mainly because a lot of those videos are written by funnier people. His best videos are the ones that were, as far as I can tell, mostly written by Aaron and Barry. Mostly by Barry. Like, Barry, I feel like, was a huge driving force in the comedy of the entire group. It's unfortunate that he's not a part of it anymore, because he is, in, he is still super funny. I'd love to see him do more of How About This Game, but I don't know when he will. I know it's a lot of work, and he's mostly focused on streaming now. Yeah, I feel like a big part of why he falls back on the whole screaming thing is just because he he has a very strong voice, and I will admit he's a great singer. Um, but that's not necessarily comedy. I mean, he's got some good jokes. Certainly, but most of the time it was because he was working off of Aaron, and Aaron was able to, to start it off. And it, I, Honestly, I feel like even Aaron got funnier after he left because he, he could bounce off of Danny better, and Danny was actually doing more work with the comedy to make things work. Hmm... I'll be honest with you, I have not paid attention to this, to what I've been doing in the game for like the last half hour. I looks like I've been doing good. I'm just kind of throwing cards out. Danny is a better host. He, he, it took him longer to settle into it, for sure, but he he definitely like. He's been able to be stronger at his peak than uh, John could ever hope to be, honestly. Oh, crap. I don't have any energy. What does this do? I just grabbed it. Um. Oh. Well, I'll save that. Oh, yeah. If you do a stream... um. If I'm, let me know. If I'm not asleep, I will check it out. Draw a card. Might get one that I need. Aha, there we go. <coughs> okay, I guess that didn't help. Uh, oh, it, should have been paying attention to what these were. I haven't played this character before. Yeah, totally. I'll hop on Discord. Um, I might have work stuff to do, but I don't think I have any deadlines coming up really soon. So I can certainly hop in. I know Coco is... Coco is probably going to be playing Animal Crossing all day, as she has been for the entire last weekend. I'll make, make foods and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you'd even want to... Well, the question is, can my computer handle Discord and the game and OBS... I want to risk it. It's already... Hold on. Let me see. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, yeah, my computer is having a rough time running just these two programs because they're both pretty hefty. But mm, Discord isn't too bad. If I brought you in, you, w you would be he hearable. Herbal on stream? Oh no. Oh no, that's a very dark interpretation of that. 
Need more damage stuff. Merchant. Ooh, I have a lot of a lot of gold. Ooh. Let's go with Dark Shackles and that one. Oh, well, look at that too. Why not? It's a dish count. Listen, I will not have bad mouthing of Tom Nook on my fucking stream. <laughs> if you're not familiar with it, I'll tell you. The general idea is like you come into town and he gives you a house without you saying it. And then he's like, also, here's how much it's going to cost. Hmm. Here's the thing. Your protagonist is silent. You talk to many, many characters. So you can presume that you actually answered him in some way. Even if you hadn't, the loan is interest free and has no deadline. You can take as long as you want. It's very reasonable considering the economy of the game. And the guy is a saint. He, he donates like 98% of his salary to an orphanage. So, Tom Nook is cool. He's not a landlord. Like, he owns the house, but genuinely, he does not even care if you pay it back. You can play the whole game and never pay him back, and he won't say a word about it. Oh no, I got very slimed there. Like this, the whole meme of Tom Nook is a fucking slumlord. He's not a landlord, though. He's a lender. He basically gives you a mortgage. And you... <clears throat> I... Uh, um... I'm just saying, it's it's a broke-ass meme. There's so many more interesting things you could say. Like, Tom Nook is in a relationship with Isabel's twin brother. That's a better meme. The new one is Tom Nook has a crush on K.K. Slider. Listen, the only time you're the slime boss is when uh, your air, air conditioning is out, okay? No, it's fine. I understand. It's just it sucks that that's the that's the um the the bullshit uh reputation he's got. And that's not if you play the games at all, that's not what he is. He's a chill dude. He's a wonderful guy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Evoking the orbs. Surprised you have not made a joke about how I've been evoking orbs for this entire run. I... Mm, that's not a, a good a good term to use for that action. <laughs> I 
How long? Have I... I've been a little over an hour here. Wow, somehow I've only dropped 0.4% of the frames. Which, considering how jittery this has been, that's um a lot lower than I would have thought. Oh, wait, okay, so when I get a new one, it makes the other one happen. Hmm. Down to minimal. Minimal slimage. There we go. Listen. As a freelancer, being a pro at something is not, does not have the clout that it once did. Not to disparage your friend, but the, the veneer of being pro something has really fallen to the wayside to me. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's do this one. Or, no, I like that one. Let's, uh, let's do this. This and this. Proceed. Groovy? Is that a typo, or is, have, is this something I haven't heard of before? Alright, let's do... Hello. Uh, let's... Knock out your strength. Deal damage. Do that. End turn. channel more lightning eh, actually yeah it's probably okay evoke the next one twice uh, let's do that Losing a lot of money on this one. Mm. I don't think I even have any power cards. So I don't know how effective that's been for me. Plasma. Let's do that. Ah, crap. Lunge. Dealing damage. <sighs> Oh, god damn it. They can just book it? Ugh.
let's do that one. This character is incredibly powerful. Just do not understand how it works. No, my money! All of my gold! Hmm. Let's hit him with one of those. Hit him with some of this. And hit him with that one. Well, I may as well. It's free. There we go. Do that. You know, for facetiously saying that I was going to suck at this game, this has actually been my two best runs of it that I've ever done. Maybe it got easier? I played it mostly when it, it was, um, when it was still in early access, which was still really good. So I, I did not regret getting it in early access at all. that I hope that wasn't important because I did not pay attention dazed hmm Okay, and with that, and with that. Ah, son of a bitch, I should have done the compile driver. Well, they got rid of those at least. No. Ooh. Let's hit him with one of those. Let's hit him with one of those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, um. Let me discard that so I can get this. Add a card. Ooh. Lock on. You know, I'm doing pretty good. So I'm actually going to save and quit on this one. It's been fun, but I'm I'm not paying nearly close enough attention to I think do this effectively. Plus my computer is really not happy about it, so I will save that for now and I will head back into it on another stream, probably when I can Figure out, I don't know, maybe the Elgato software will be less hardware intensive than OBS. I know for sure once I get the Elgato, I'm going to start streaming a ton of Switch games because my preferred system is Switch and that means that it can handle all of the games and my computer can just handle all of the streaming side. So we'll find out. We'll find out how I work it. I definitely will probably be streaming Breath of the Wild first, because 
It was the first Switch game that I had, and it is still one of my favorites. It's a fantastic game. Might be doing some Doom Eternal or other PS4 games. I definitely want to do Infamous Second Son at one point, but I'd be doing that in the living room, so I might see if I can convince um, Corey and Coco to let me bring the PS4 in here briefly, because we have a smart TV now, it's not our main streaming thing, so maybe they'll be okay with that, but... We'll see in the future, but yeah. Thank you for tuning in, Andrew, or anyone else who decided not to talk by this. Let me see how many viewers I ended up with. Two viewers, so yeah. Just the two, which is pretty much me and Andrew and probably another Andrew device if I'm getting the count wrong, but... I still appreciate it. I'm not really trying that hard yet. I, I I am still only doing these late at night for the most part, mainly because my sleep schedule has been that. But I will, I will improve as it goes. So, anybody who watches this later, thanks for watching later. Anyone who watched it now, thank you for watching it now. And I will have better stuff coming up in the future. Good night.